Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counter Side video. Today's video, we're going to talk about Lyudmila strategy, gameplay, and build. But before that, if you would have updated Counter Side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so we are here with Lyudmila, so Old Administration Maze Division. She's actually an SSS uh, counter sniper, air type, and all around attack okay so let's take a look at her stats guys for her weakness let's start off with her weakness so you have her hp at 16,383, which is actually kind of kind of paper thin then you have her crit which is actually below average at 713 um this can actually be augmented and kind of be bumped up a little bit to increase her crit to crit and uh, deal critical damage then her evasion is going to be below average, which is kind of unusual for a sniper because usually most snipers have low evasion. So you can actually tweak her evasion to be a little bit more up. Then you have her defense, uh, defense which is actually low as well at 372. Her strengths are going to be her attack, which is actually at a high rate at uh, 6681. Then her hit is also above average at 1, 2, 44. So again, her stats is uh, really, really more similar to, a again, a sniper. But she has some kind of increased evasion. And also she kind of has ha uh, have a increase in defense. Okay, guys. So for Ludmilla's skill info, we have her basic attack. Okay, it's only a valid hit of 1. Remotely controls a naval cannon and fires at the single target in front on a regular basis. Targets air units within the range. First and stops attacking if the target dies or moves 15 meters away from her. Okay, levels 2, 3, 4, and 5 is a plus of 20% for basic attack damage. Okay, next is going to be your passive skill. Maintain battle front. Okay, unlocks a new power every time an ally leaves the field depending on its type so for counters increases crit uh and for soldiers increases attack by five percent up to fifty percent if max creates a barrier equal to fifteen percent of max hp for 10 seconds for your level two three four it's going to be a plus in crit damage so it's good that you can increase, for example, her crit because, again, she could deal, you know, uh, bigger um, crit damage. It's going to be a plus 20% and at level 5, crit slash attack plus 10% instead of up to 50%. So it's going to be a flat, <laughs> flat rate of 10% okay so for my team what i do is if if i'm, I'm usually i usually build her around the uh, counters so the, the the stat that would you know go up is going to be her crit which is actually going to be good if you have counters and definitely you can deal more crit damage once your crit is actually up next is going to be her special skill so coordinates um coordinates locked it's a 20 second skill cooldown so valid hits is two Telekinetically gathers enemies in front and levitates them and then fires a cannon at them, knocking them backwards with AoE damage. This skill is going to have a cooldown of minus 4 at level 5 with a plus damage from level 2, 3, 4 of 25%. So as you can see, once um, the minus 4 kicks in, it's a 16 second cooldown. Plus if you have skill haste on her, she can actually spam this skill as well. Then you have her ultimate, so last ditch effort. So it's a 55 second cooldown. Valid hits is four, which is actually pretty ridiculous for a sniper. Musters up her strength and throws an abandoned ship. This ship crashes into the ground and continuously pulls enemies before it explodes with AoE damage. Okay, so levels two, three, four. Cooldown for the skill is a total of minus eight, which brings it down to 47. Then at level 5, last attack target speed and attack speed is a minus 25% for 15 seconds. So not only does she deal great damage, she also has debuffs and she has AOE damage. 
Okay, so we have her now with fully equipped gear. So far, Lyudmila, there are a couple of gear sets that I will be recommending. Starting with um, CDR, which is, I think, her primary gear set. Um, in terms of attack speed, um, she it's actually going to be her secondary gear set. So for me, my preference is going to be, um, going to be CDR, which um, in terms of your gear stats, your secondary gear stats, it's going to be skill haste. As you can see here, it, she's actually pretty much very much leveled up. I use her in both um, PvE and PvP right now. So again, she's up to 60% skill haste, which is kind of above average already. And also for her gear stat, um, aside from skill haste, you can actually opt for crit. If you want to increase her crit, if you think that her crit is a is a bit you know lower, but um, again you can you know you can play with whatever you want. Either skill haste is going to be your secondary stat increases or crit, or also you could add to her evasion. So in terms of movement for her accessory, movement is actually um, is actually going to be recommended for her because again it adds to her evasion. So. As you can see for me, um, her evasion is at 860 already. I have two movement gears here. This can actually be, you know, changed into, into hit if you need to increase your hit. So again, I opted for evasion slightly because um, I want her to be more survivable um, in terms of because she's paper thin. So that is why I opted for evasion. But again, for gear stats, you have you can either put HP Evasion, skill, haste, or crit. Gear set is going to be either CDR or attack speed. Okay, um, my recommendation if you want to deploy with Mila is not on the onset of any battle, especially for PvP, because you're gonna have to find the right uh, what do you call this, the right target for her. Um, usually I would deploy her um once I see air units, or if I see um strikers, because again. Um, snipers do deal more damage versus strikers. So, what I sometimes do, she 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 is going to be situational, depending on what you have on the enemy side. But again, those are my tips: either flying or strikers. You can actually deploy her as soon as you want to take uh, good care of them. <laughs> take good care of them in a in a bad way. Okay. So more or less, those are those are my recommendations in terms of the of her deployment. You also have to take a look at um, if you have the advantage because again, she's a four cost sniper, and if you don't have her buffed in terms of HP, she's going to be paper thin. Although she's going to be saved from Kang's um, initial skill when she comes in, but you're also prone to Elizabeth. So again, she is going to be, as long as you time her well, her value is going to be very good for you. Um, if you don't time her well, she's going to be squishy and anytime she's going to be dead. Okay, so let's take a look at her. That is actually her um, special skill. Take a look at that again. So again, she's very good in crowd control, gathering people, dealing, dealing lots of damage. And let's take a look at her ultimate right here. So I like this animation for our ultimate. Very, very nice. Let's take a let's put some, you know, some minions here and have it on. So try to use skills. So again, her her special is going to gather them in a black hole, like put them in the center and deal damage. And also I think for her ultimate, let's see. For ultimate, no. Um, it just deals a lot of damage and also has um, debuffs uh, with that ultimate. Okay, my initial and final thoughts with Yudmila in terms... Of, I've been playing um, her in PvP and PvE for the past you know, six days, I think, five days. And I actually prefer her right now because of her, of her, you know, of her flexibility in terms of matchups. Um, right now with U9 PvP, um, she's actually the perfect fit for your team. You just need to just watch out for Elizabeth. That's it. Because again, um, I'm not sure how she's going to take hits from Elizabeth, but most of the time she's going to be dead. 
So that is actually her only Kryptonite or Achilles heel. For the rest, um, she has a, she has advantages with Kang. She has advantages with Yumina. As long as you deploy her, not that you know close, she is going to survive Yumina's um Yumina's what do you call this uh, initial damage coming in in her secondary. You know, I think her special skill also when she comes in. Um, it's more about placement and timing for her. So if you want to, you know, get the most out of her, um, take note of mismatches and also take note of the timing. Final thoughts for PvP. So she's going to be very good in PvP. You just have to make sure that you're in a week wherein you really need her right now. Again, with, with Yuna. Um, and for PvE, she's a 10 out of 10. Um... She's gonna. She, she's really gonna shine for you in PV, PVE, particularly in Shadow Palace uh, Three. Um, she, you need her there in terms of uh, shooting down strikers. Uh, you need a sniper there. So more or less, hopefully, um, her banner is gonna drop for everybody so that everybody could get her. And again, um, Lyudmila, uh, I think, is kind of there already in terms of snipers. I just hope that. We could just uh, time her well, give her a lot of HP for her to survive. So, again, um, I highly recommend her for your team. Not only is she good in crowd control, she's also good in dealing lots of damage. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far in this video. And um, hopefully, um, you consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And don't forget to click that bell icon if you consider subscribing. And also put a like to this video. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here.